Hey guys, it's Sam and it's theme number 12, oh, we're almost done, of the hashtag Disney Drawing Challenge 2016 started by myself and Crazy Comic Lady, links in the description down below, definitely check out her videos, she's an amazing artist and super awesome, so yeah, definitely check out her videos and her drawings. Anyway, this theme is to draw any hero or heroine in the villain's color scheme. And right from the start, I knew I wanted to do Mulan, and yeah, so it was pretty fun. I wanted to do something more simple because after, like this whole time, basically since I think theme 5, I was like, okay, I can't keep doing such big pieces anymore. This, I need to keep, I need to simplify to be able to, you know, not kill myself doing this challenge. And um, yeah, that didn't exactly work out, but now I'm trying it. Now I'm trying. <laughs> this piece only took like uh, two and a half hours, I think, and I actually did it while watching the movie. I haven't seen the movie in like a year. <laughs> I, I rewatch it like I think once a year or so, and um, probably on average. And it, oh, it's such a good movie. Oh, I love the movie so much. And um, what's funny is that one of the later themes is uh, like your favorite scene from a movie. And I already had an idea picked out for it, but then when I watched the ending, I was like, "Oh, the part where everyone bows to her is such an amazing scene." And it's like, "No, no, I made my choice already." But you know, oh my god! So I, I'm in like a Mulan mood right now because I just finished watching the movie again, and it's just I don't know. It, it's really great when movies are so rewatchable like this. Anyway, I guess I'll talk about the drawing. So um, I started with a tiny thumbnail. I noticed that sometimes I have a problem with drawing. Like you draw a picture and you like keep adding like more to the full body and you end up going off the canvas. And I hate doing that. So I did something a little different this time because usually I do like a stick figure and that usually keeps me in check. But this time I just drew a frame inside of the frame and then I drew inside that frame. So if I went out of that frame, it wasn't a big deal. So. Yeah, that, that kind of worked. I'm going to try doing that kind of thing in the future. It's a little bit more manageable than what I normally do. If any of that made sense at all to anybody. <laughs> Honestly, the lining took the longest. I, I really don't like lining in Photoshop. I much prefer Psy because you have that line stabilizer. But I want to try and get used to doing line art in Photoshop just so I can get faster and more comfortable and better at it. And I know the whole secret trick is to have a very, very large canvas so your lines can be a lot messier than the ones that I made in this and no one's gonna know because when you shrink it down it's like indistinguishable, it just looks like good lines. But yeah, my computer is just an old Bessie. I didn't want to push her too much and this isn't, you know, like a, supposed to be that grandiose of a picture anyway. So I ended up using the, the pen tool towards the end of it because I just wasn't having it anymore. <laughs> and then when I finally got around to the color scheme, it took a little while to think about how I wanted to do it because I wanted to kind of match the way that her colors were spread out in the original uh, dress that she wears. And her dress is like so many different colors. I didn't even realize it until I was uh, coloring this that she's got a lot of different colors. Like I thought there was more matching going on, like the same, you know, hex color code. But no, like every single little spot is a different... Who knew? <laughs> not me. And it was kind of tricky because Shan Yu has like not as many colors, so I had to be a little bit more creative in my placement of them. But I think I think I did okay. I think... Because I, I wanted to also kind of balance it to where his colors are. Like the light gray is at the bottom because his, his pants are kind of like a lighter gray and that sort of thing. And then kind of also balance out like the amount of it, as well as like making it look nice. <laughs> and um, I was also doing cell shading, which I am still trying to practice. Still trying to get that style down. And but uh, like in general, I, I'm pretty happy with it. I like that it's simple, and you know that kind of thing. It was a fun style to practice. I don't really have too much else to say about it. But um, anyway, if you guys want to participate in this challenge. Use the hashtag Disney Drawing Challenge 2016 wherever you post it. And if you want me to share your pictures and drawings, just comment down below with a link to whatever you want me to share or a link to your page so I can just pick something. And of course, definitely check out Crazy Comic Ladies videos and drawings, links in the description. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying this challenge so far. Not too many more to go before it's over. It's 
been going by a lot faster than I was expecting and a lot more of you guys are participating than we were expecting and that's really awesome. I can't wait to see everybody's all finished stuff all together. But anyway, thanks for watching! Bye!